Namo Lokesparaya. Though seen that all phenomena neither come nor go, you strive solely for the benefit of beings. Supreme Guru and Protector Chinrezig, at all times I humbly pay homage to you with my three doors. The perfect Buddhas, source of all benefit and happiness, arise through accomplishing the sublime Dharma. Since that depends on knowing how to practice, I will explain what bodhisattvas do. Having gained this great ship of freedom and fortune, so difficult to find, in order to free yourself and others from the ocean of cyclic existence, listen, reflect, and meditate day and night without distraction. This is the way of the Bodhisattva. Attachment to loved ones stirs you like water. Hatred for enemies blazes like fire. In the darkness of ignorance, you forget what to adopt and what to avoid. Abandon your homeland. This is the way of the Bodhisattva. When negative places are abandoned, disturbing emotions gradually decline. Without distractions, virtuous practice naturally grows. When the mind becomes clear, certainty in the Dharma arises. Live alone in seclusion. This is the way of a Bodhisattva. Family and long-time companions will part from each other. Possessions gained with effort will be left behind. Consciousness, a guest, will leave the guest house of the body. Let go of this life. This is the way of the Bodhisattva. In bad company, the three poisons increase. The activities of learning, reflecting, and meditating decline, and love and compassion are lost. Give up bad companions. This is the way of the Bodhisattva. When one follows a true virtuous friend, faults will diminish and good qualities will grow like the waxing moon. Therefore, cherish this virtuous friend even more than your own body. This is the way of the Bodhisattva. Who can worldly gods, themselves imprisoned in samsara, protect? Therefore, seek refuge in the three jewels, the undeceiving source of refuge. This is the way of a bodhisattva. The Buddha taught that all the unbearable suffering of the lower realms is the result of wrongdoing. Therefore, never do wrong, even at the cost of your life. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Like a dewdrop on a blade of grass, the happiness of the three worlds vanishes in but an instant. Strive for the supreme state of never-changing liberation. This is the way of a bodhisattva.
When mothers who have loved you since beginningless time are suffering, what good is your own happiness? Therefore, give rise to bodhicitta in order to liberate limitless sentient beings. This is the way of a bodhisattva. All suffering without exception comes from wishing for your own happiness. The perfect Buddhas are born from the altruistic mind. Therefore, truly exchange your own happiness for the suffering of others. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Even if someone driven by great desire steals all your wealth or lets others steal it, dedicate to them your body, possessions, and all virtues of the three times. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Even if someone cuts off your head when you haven't done anything wrong, take upon yourself all their misdeeds through the power of compassion. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Even if others slander you throughout a billion worlds, in return, speak of their good qualities with a loving mind. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Even if someone exposes your faults and insults you in front of a crowd, view that person as a spiritual friend and bow with respect. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Even if someone you have cared for as dearly as your own child regards you as an enemy, love that person even more as a mother would her ailing child. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Even if an equal or lesser person humiliates you out of pride, respectfully place them like a guru on the crown of your head. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Though you may be impoverished, always disparaged, gripped by diseased, and tormented by spirits, never lose courage, but take upon yourself the misdeeds and pain of all beings. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Though you may be famous and revered by many and are as rich as the wealth God himself, having seen that worldly fortune is without essence, do not be proud. This is the way of a bodhisattva. If the enemy, your own anger, is not tamed, subduing outer enemies will only make them increase. Therefore, subdue your own mind with the army of love and compassion. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Enjoying sense pleasures is like drinking salt water. The more you drink, the greater your thirst. Therefore, immediately abandon all things that give rise to clinking attachment. This is the way 
of a bodhisattva. Appearances are your own mind. Mind itself primordially transcends elaborated extremes. Knowing just this, do not create concepts of perceiver and perceived. This is the way of a bodhisattva. When you come across things that attract you, like beautiful rainbows in summertime, do not regard them as real and abandon clinging attachment. This is the way of a bodhisattva. All suffering is like the death of your child in a dream. How exhausting it is to hold deluded appearances as real. Therefore, when encountering difficult circumstances, see them as delusions. This is the way of a bodhisattva. When even one's body must be given up when aspiring for enlightenment, what need is there to mention material things? Therefore, practice generosity without hope for reward or karmic results. This is the way of a bodhisattva. If, lacking discipline, you cannot accomplish even your own purpose, wishing to achieve the purpose of others is truly absurd. Therefore, protect your own discipline without regard for worldly existence. This is the way of a bodhisattva. For bodhisattvas who desire a wealth of virtue, those who do harm are like a precious treasure. Therefore, without hostility, be patient with everyone. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Even hearers or solitary realizers who accomplish only their own purpose, strive as if putting out fires on their heads. Seeing this, practice with diligence, the source of good qualities, for the sake of all beings. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Disturbing emotions are destroyed by insight grounded in calm abiding. Knowing this, cultivate meditative concentration that purely transcends the four formless absorptions. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Without wisdom, one cannot reach complete enlightenment through the other five perfections. Thus, combined with skillful means, cultivate wisdom that does not discriminate among the three spheres. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Unless you examine your own confusion, you might look like a practitioner, but not act like one. Therefore, always examine yourself and abandon confusion. This is the way of a bodhisattva. If driven by disturbing emotions, 
you speak about the faults of other bodhisattvas, you are actually diminishing yourself. So do not mention the faults of those who have entered the great vehicle. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Concern for wealth and respect leads to conflict and to the loss of learning, reflecting, and meditating. So, abandon attachment to your circle of friends, relations, and benefactors. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Harsh words disturb others' minds and corrupt your bodhisattva conduct. Therefore, abandon harsh speech, which is unpleasant to others. This is the way of a bodhisattva. When disturbing emotions become habitual, it is difficult to reverse them with antidotes. Therefore, the master of mindfulness wields antidotes as weapons and destroys disturbing emotions, such as attachment, the moment that they start to arise. This is the way of a bodhisattva. In brief, wherever you are and whatever you do, always examine the state of your mind. Act to accomplish the purpose of others through constant mindfulness and awareness. This is the way of a bodhisattva. With the wisdom of threefold purity, dedicate to enlightenment all the merit gained from having made such effort. Dedicate it to dispel the suffering of limitless beings. This is the way of a bodhisattva. Following the teachings of the Holy Ones and the meaning of the sutras, tantras, and their written commentaries, I have written these 37 verses on the ways of bodhisattvas for those who wish to train on the bodhisattva's path. Because my intellect is feeble and my learning is poor, this composition will not be admired by scholars. Yet, since I have relied upon the sutras and the teachings of the holy ones, I believe these bodhisattva's practices are not mistaken. However, since the vast deeds of bodhisattvas are difficult to fathom for simple-minded beings like myself, I beg the forgiveness of the holy ones for the mass of my errors, such as contradictions and inconsistencies. By the virtue arising from this, may all sentient beings become, through relative and ultimate, sublime bodhicitta, like the protector Chinrezig, who does not abide in the extremes of existence or peace.